Hey everybody, it's Benny One, and I'm back at you with another review for the Mighty Ducks Game Changers, everybody. And we were on episode six, and this episode, I probably would say, is my favorite of the season so far, and that is for one main reason. This is the reunion episode for the OG Mighty Ducks cast members. Well, at least some of them. Not all of them, but <clears throat> we get a reunion from the characters from the movies and everything. Awesome stuff. This is where they bridged the characters from the movies with our new characters and our new hockey team and everything in this TV show. Awesome. I loved when I saw what the title of it was and when I read the description when I went to go play it I just finished watching it right after midnight. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a great episode. Great episode everyone. Great episode. So the last episode ended with Evan being invited back to the Mighty Ducks because of the way he played in their game where he scored you know, all the goals to help the Don't Bothers win their first hockey game, everybody. So, and then we also, so it picks up with that. And then it also picks up with Bombay driving along, talking to um, the girl that works at his uh, Ice Palace place. And his window gets broken by a piece of concrete because he's pulled up to some construction, everybody. And he gets out and he was like, what the hell are you guys doing? He broke my window and... Fulton was there everybody that's right he was there and he was the one that actually shot the piece of concrete with his jack up at his window and he him and Bombay have a little moment and he invites him out to like a, I think it's a I don't know if it was a pizza place or whatever to go out and have dinner with the OG Mighty Ducks because they're all in town for um, the Mighty Ducks hold this yearly event every year where they bring back all the former Mighty Ducks and it's like an annual honoring thing. They called it something in the show I can't remember honestly and I just finished watching it. That's stupid but I'm just rattling stuff off my brain. I literally just finished watching it. So so yeah he invites him to that and he says of course the ducks fly together you know so we're gonna get a little reunion everybody. Awesome. Whew, this was a good episode people. Great freaking episode. Um, So we catch up with Evan and he goes to visit the Mighty Ducks and that cocky, arrogant coach of the Mighty Ducks tells him, you know, is trying to convince him to come by. He's got like a tray full of coffee, protein bars, green juice. He's trying to impress him and tell him, you know, scholarships and all this stuff. And you want to be on a winning team. You want to go to states, all this stuff. So Evan's not quite sure because you can tell he's kind of hesitant because he doesn't want to turn his back on the Don't Bothers. And, but at the same time, he kind of wants to rejoin the Mighty Ducks, like, because he got cut, and he wants to play hockey, and he wants to, there's part of him that wants to be on the best hockey team, so, but yeah, so he tells him, you know what, come by tomorrow, swing by practice, and just see how it feels, so, and of course, he does, of course, because he goes to the Ice Palace, and the Don't Bothers, all the kids were in this episode, by the way, where the past few episodes, we've only gotten a couple of the kids, they were all in this episode. They were watching their winning game and they were watching it. And Evan shows up and he's like, why aren't any of you dressed? We need to practice. You want to make states? And he's like talking like he's a duck. Like he's talking like he's the new Mighty Ducks and stuff. So so he, I think that's why he ended up actually going to the Mighty Ducks practice is because when he went to go to the Don't Bothers practice, all they wanted to do was watch the game footage of them winning and everything which is cool because they were having fun and all that and they were laughing at him when he was talking so serious and all that stuff so it kind of showed that he was starting to lose that whole you know the don't bothers are all about having fun being friends playing hockey but it's not all about winning and he was starting to lose that so so he ends up going to the practice of course and does good at the practice and he basically is told, you know, he has a spot on the team. But he hasn't totally decided yet. So, and then Alex gets, <laughs> Alex is kind of stuck with dealing with Bombay because she finds out that Gordon was not invited to this little yearly reunion thing that the Mighty Ducks host. Because the Duck players, 
the OG Duck players are like, didn't you get the invitation? Like, you get one sent to you every year at this dinner that he goes to with them. They're like, why haven't, didn't you get the invitation and stuff? And he wasn't getting them because they never invited him. And which is really stupid and shitty of them because they said that he does not represent what is best about the Mighty Ducks. I was like, wow, really? If he wouldn't have put that hockey team together and named them the Ducks, the Mighty Ducks, they wouldn't exist. So he represents everything about the Mighty Ducks, honestly. So I was like, damn, that is a blow, blow and a half. Cold, man. I was like, wow. So, but so Bombay goes to have the dinner with the OG Ducks, and it's awesome. It's so cool. Like, it's just, it really brings you back to the movies and these characters when they were kids. They're checking out pictures of themselves on the wall. It was cool. And he's asking all of them what they're doing, like what they're doing with their lives and stuff. And then they really start to ask him questions. And they're like, well, why didn't you come to, um, cause let's see, we have Fulton, we have Averman, we have Connie, we have, uh, Banks is in this. And then, uh, Jermaine, he is in this and him and Connie are, married and everything and he they were like why didn't you get you you didn't even come to our wedding and then it gets brought up that like that's why charlie didn't come is because it seems like you've been ignoring us and you don't really want to talk to us or be a part of our lives anymore for some reason because you were a big shot college coach and i think it's because they don't know what happened to him and what's and they most definitely don't know what's going on with him uh currently where the show is that's for sure so and he says that he doesn't want to go to the, the thing. He doesn't want to go to the yearly banquet that they have to honor people. And he doesn't tell them that he wasn't invited. So he leaves and they're kind of mad at him. So it's kind of repeating that thing that they do in the movies where there's something that always kind of happens in the movies where Bombay does something or makes a decision that kind of upsets the, the team. They kind of repeat that here in this episode. So a little nostalgia little nostalgia, a little throwback to the movies. So, um, and then we, we go to this banquet thing that they're having and Alex and Evan are both invited because they assume that he's on the hockey team now. And him and his mom have a little discussion about how he's going to make the decision. She's not going to help him make decision because she believes that he's going to make the right decision. And he does. He tells the damn mighty ducks coach that he's staying with the don't bothers. He's not going to join the team. Thank God, Jesus. Um, and Alex gets wrapped up into this whole sweatpants thing because there's some sweatpants, 372 sweatpants lost at sea, blah, blah, blah. And she gets wrapped up into this crap and getting all this stuff put together because she's a duck mom again, even though she's like, what the hell are you talking about? No, I'm not. And then she finds out. Um, and the original duck crew is there and they're at the banquet and they're kind of like, wow, the mighty ducks have changed. Like they're not what they used to be so they kind of see that the hockey team has totally changed they're not the way they were or anything remotely close to that and then they find out that Bombay did not get invited so they hop in a limousine because Averman drives a limousine for a rich guy and they go to the ice palace and they show up on the rink while Bombay shooting some pucks and they spin a cookie on the ice and get out and they take his ass back to that banquet and they make a speech about him while they're literally about ready to give this lifetime award to the current Ducks coach, that cocky, arrogant little shit. And they take the microphone and everything away and they talk about how if it wasn't for Bombay, like their character and everything and the way they grew up and the way the hockey team was and the Mighty Ducks started, like... They totally go to bat for him, and it was awesome. Awesome shit. And then the episode ends with the Don't Bother's practice, and the OG Mighty Ducks show up, the five of them in their original Mighty Ducks jerseys from the first movie, and they have a hockey practice, and it is awesome, you guys. One of the best parts in this entire show so far. Fantastic stuff, people. Fantastic. I was very pleased with this episode and the episode also ends on a pretty serious note where Maya 
show looks on Instagram because she's like, I'm posting this picture of us in the mighty, the OG Mighty Ducks on my IG, and she finds the video of Evan at practice with the Mighty Ducks, and they show it to him, and the whole hockey team leaves him on the ice, and that's where the episode ends. Yeah, serious shit. So yeah, guys. I honestly, this was the best episode of the show so far. Yeah, most definitely. And it most definitely had to do because we had a reunion with the original Mighty Ducks cast. At least some of them. So it was awesome. Oh, and Bombay has pretty much officially become the assistant coach of the Don't Bothers too. Also, which is badass. So, alright guys, you know, I'm enjoying this show so far. I I feel like I'm rambling now, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. If you're not watching this by now... You got to get on board. It's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this spoiler-filled review for the Mighty Ducks Jane Changers, episode six. And I'll be catching you on the tube laters because I have spoken.